What's going on guys? My name is George and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. My lawn is looking really bad. It has this greenish orange tinge to it, but the good news is it's a simple fix. So today I'm gonna show you two simple things that you need to do to completely transform your lawn in just three days. If you're anything like me, you're probably looking for a fast, simple solution to take care of your lawn and really make it stand out. There's only two things you need to do to really make it pop. If you're just starting out your lawn care journey, I just want you to know that lawn care does not have to be hard or intimidating. You just have to implement a few practices. And today I'm gonna to show you a two-step process that will get your lawn 90% there to being perfect. The first thing that we need to get that dark green lawn is a fast source of nitrogen. So I'm gonna make things like super simple for you guys. One of my favorite fertilizers is Scott's Lawn Food. And what I like about it is that it has more than 16% fast release nitrogen in it. So when you throw it down, you'll get almost instant results overnight. You could pick this stuff up from your local Lowe's or Home Depot. It has 32% nitrogen in it. So a lot goes a long way. You're only gonna need a few pounds for uh, your whole lawn. I'm gonna follow the label rate of two and a half pounds per thousand square feet, which will give me 0.8 pounds of nitrogen per thousand. I like using this fert mostly because it contains fast release nitrogen, so we can get that quick pop of green. Take a look at my lawn, it has a lot of yellowing going on. There's some dead spots from uh, summer stress, not to mention in the summertime we had some disease pressure and I had some issues with fungus back here. I think you guys are gonna be amazed at what a big difference putting these two things down can do to your lawn. That's the beautiful thing about lawn care. It doesn't take too much to get a nice lawn. And there's no better feeling than when you reap the rewards of your hard work in the lawn and you actually see it start to pay off. Real quick, if you guys love lawn care content, hit that subscribe button. It's free for you to do and we can learn about lawns together. So a big part of throwing down fertilizer is having a good spreader. This is the spreader that I'm using right now. It's a Lesco 80 pound commercial grade spreader. I've been using this for the last couple of years and uh, my review of it is mostly positive. Although I do think that they can improve the agitator on it. I know that there's a special upgrade I could do with the breakthrough agitator, which I'll probably be doing. I'm thinking about selling this one and getting one of those Earthway 50 pound uh, bucket spreaders. If any of you guys own that one, let me know how it is in the comments. Definitely the one big advantage that this spreader has, say over the Scots ones, is that it has the pneumatic tires with the air in it. So when you're walking over your bumpy lawn, you don't have to worry about fertilizer just popping out of your spreader and burning your lawn. It's a nice smooth ride. Think of it as having like a, a nice shock system on your car when you're spreading fertilizer. So now that we threw down some nitrogen, I'm gonna make the second and final application. We're gonna throw down some iron. This is the secret to getting a dark green lawn. And how it does that is iron actually increases the chlorophyll in the plants. So it leads to that nice thick green lawn that we all want. So the difference between this application is the nitrogen, we applied it to the soil and with the iron, we're gonna apply it to the leaves of the grass and we're gonna let it sit overnight. There are a couple of liquid iron products that you could choose from such as Lawn Star or Southern AG liquid iron. I'll leave links in the description if you want to check any of them out, but today I'm going to be throwing down an iron product that is a cult classic in the lawn community. Feature 600. The label rate calls for 1 to 2 ounces per thousand square feet, so I'm going to go right in the middle of that and I'm going to apply 3 ounces to my backyard which is 2,000 total square feet. This stuff has developed quite the reputation throughout the years with hardcore lawn phonetics. Since this is a foiler application, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my XR11004VS T-Jet nozzle. So now that I made this application, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit on the lawn overnight. And then in the morning, I'll water it in for about 20 minutes. So we could wash off the leaves of the grass and get that iron down into the soil and water in that fertilizer as well. So now that the temperatures have cooled down and it's in the 70 degrees here in the fall time, it's no problem that I threw down nitrogen and iron. But if it is still in the 80s where you are or when you're watching this, 
then I definitely wouldn't apply. I would wait until the temperature lowers down a little bit so you don't risk burning your lung. This right here is probably one of the most important tools that I have for lung care. If you don't have a good sprayer, I highly suggest you pick up one because I use it to spray everything from iron to PGR to pre-emergence. So this model sprayer right here is the Sprayers Plus 105EX. I highly recommend it. Uh, the battery lasts forever. I've charged this thing twice since I've owned it in the last year and that's all I had to do. Uh, it sprays for a long time. It has good uniform coverage. I have no issues with it leaking. Uh, my only one gripe with it is that there's an inner lip here underneath the lid. So when you empty it to clean it out, a little bit of liquid stays in there. The first sprayer that I ever bought was a Husqvarna two gallon pump sprayer. And that sprayer is also awesome too. I just got kind of tired of pumping it around. So I ended up getting a battery sprayer. And not to mention with the battery sprays, you get a more even coverage because the flow stays consistent as you're walking. When you start pumping it up, the pressure could be a little higher at first, but say if you wait 10 seconds after you're spraying, the pressure could decrease. So that's one of the biggest reasons I actually ended up getting a battery sprayer. Not to mention it's easier, so it's a win-win situation. Tell me why I know you guys have one of those neighbors that their lawn is green all year round and you never see them out there doing anything. It's because they're implementing at least one of these strategies. So it's been three days and I'm not gonna lie, I'm stoked right now because the lawn is already starting to look more dark green and it's just having a more lively appearance. So now, the last thing I wanna do to polish off the look is to give it an, a quick mow. There's many ways that you guys can green up your lawn. So I'm actually genuinely curious how, what you guys do to lead to a quick green up in your lawn. So comment below and let all of us know what you like to do. If your lawn is struggling right now and you don't know where to start in making it better, just go ahead and do these two things and I promise you, you'll have good results. Not only is it gonna make your lawn greener, but it's also gonna help thicken it up. Right now I'm having a weed problem in the backyard and it seems like every time I get rid of them, they just seem to keep coming back from every side. So by thickening up my lawn, this is gonna help crowd out the weeds and it's gonna make the turf more dense so that less things can get into there. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, my name's George, nice to meet you. If you love lawn care content, hit that subscribe button because over here at Princess Cut Lawn Care, we like to live life on the edge of our lawns. Peace.